mean, to me, that's... This doesn't, this one up here doesn't... This would not fit, in my mind, this doesn't fit the 50% rule. It's, it, it's, here's the entrance, here's uh -huh. the rest of the house. Not lineal, it would be airy. That's the, way it's written, the way it's written here, though, that's not going to, right, those types, we would not see those constructed anymore. Well, I'm talking, uh, we took this off of Lee Summit, Overland Park, and that's, it was an area, not linear. Right. And, and, and that's the way what it's written here. Well, yeah, I know, yeah. that it was, yeah. well, I understand that was a typo or, or whatever from what we talked earlier. No, it was linear. It was linear. I know that's what we discussed. But linear. So you're going to have to make a decision on whether or not you want the garage to be the the most outstanding feature of the, of the residential unit because that's really what you hang. This is what this is. Yeah, and this is what we're trying to avoid. I mean, the doors are you know a little bit more accented here on that top picture and here, but still the the, the bulk of the development is garage. Well, any residential house, your residential house where you live, I could almost guarantee that you have more garage than you do house linear footage wise. No, I don't. Well, and, and especially if you have three car garage. Right. You see that especially if you have a three car garage. And I understand what you're trying to achieve, and this year compact them all together, and I understand that. Michael, when you talk about the 50% or yeah, the 50% linear feet. Right, if your house is 100 feet wide. You don't. You want less than 50 feet of garage. Right, that's what they're saying here. But you're saying the whole lot. I'm size. talking you're about. You're talking about. No. What are you trying to I'm say? I'm talking the, the area of the building. The area of the front elevation is what I think is what we were talked about. We were talking about that. In that case, then these would fit okay. But it would not fit if it's a rear loading garage and it's a T and D project. So if you get a row house and you have a rear loading garage. You're not going to have a 50, 50 foot. Well, you're definitely not going to have it on linear footage wise, but there, you're also not going to have it on area wise. Yeah, but won't that be in the back? On a it's, TND, it's going to be a back alley garage. But within the code. And see, this is just talking front facades. So it yeah, it's so it just applies. front dress. Yeah, yeah because in a TND, you're going to have back so alley. So it doesn't garage. address, it doesn't give you any stipulations limiting what you're doing in the back. It's just what we're seeing from the front of the company. Right. It's the front facade. So you're okay if you're building. Yeah, okay. If, it, if right. it, it's not going to affect you in a negative way. At all. If it's just, I mean, it's the area that. It's just the, the change to make this fit within the guideline you have here. You would have to limit this to a single car garage. That's the only you way. Limit to would, a single car or right. put the parking. Or if in it's the a rear, tandem. On side or rear. If it was a tandem garage. But well, this one is a single car. The one, actually, they're all single car. Cars. Well, then, then to accomplish what you're needing to accomplish on this unit, they were going to have to go off. That there's going to have to be more on the side, uh, you know, facing this on the right and left of the building to, to make it work. If if we're talking, there are four units, four actual homes in that resident. And I get and that's sure. the case. Then there's just going to have to be more on this. You've got some space in the front. It's just really the size of the, the width of one garage is the same as the frontage in the middle. So you know it doesn't meet the guideline. My question is just something to discuss. I think um, Michael brought up a good point as far as the carriage doors and the quality of sign. Would we be willing to say 50% but then do a different number to encourage carriage doors or some kind of higher quality garage doors, would we be willing to take it down to, let's say, um, you could have 60% if you use certain design standards to make it more attractive. The offsets or the nicer doors. Right, because right. to me, if it was 60% and they used the nice wood doors, they, they made it more attractive, to me that would make it look like a higher quality project and yeah, there'd be more garage, but you're offering an incentive to them to use higher quality products for the garage. Well, I don't see or that case. problem with composition. It's just this is the opportunity to determine, as again, sure. going back to what we've talked about, do you want status? Do you want, because to me, you can just add a reference to composition. That can be four or that can be a, an H or whatever you want to do in terms of, of how you're dressing it. It's just, do you want to continue to have this type of unit built if you're comfortable with that? 
then we need to change the language. If not, then we need to move forward. Okay. Or can we also just have to throw an idea, if we had a rear loading garage, your open space requirement, because you're not going to, you have a lot less room for open space if you have rear entry garages. If, if you have an alleyway. And most likely you're going to have a, you're going, they're going to have an alleyway on. But that's going to be the 40% is going to be for the entire development. It's not going to be per unit. So you're still going to have shared 40% open space, and you still want that to continue even in TND. Can you ex explain again? And, and do you have even credit for examples, or do you have references that that give us a better visualization of what we're trying to say in, under number one? <clears throat> Where are we going to see number one uh, within close proximity to Blue Springs? Okay. Because these, even if this is Lee Summits, these are down in Lee Summit, right here by Boy Spears mm -hmm. Elementary School. Mm -hmm. So they're not, either they've changed their code since then or. But that would, that's still Blue Springs codes. These are yeah. some examples of multiple. And Boy, and Boy Spears, that's in Lee Summit. Why would they? No, no, yeah. these are south. Uh, well, no, I'm just road. saying yeah. this type of this unit okay. I see down there. True, true. So if this is what Lee Summit says is, is being Lee Summit has a 50% rule in being place, so we're just we're just copying what Lee Summit had, correct? I so sure so thought that it was the area. Yeah, yeah. 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 So they've changed that. Right. So, <clears throat> but if you look at the other packet, it has some examples of multifamily that have examples of 50% right, and that's where you're seeing the single car garage or else you're seeing that Tuck the around. garage is tucked out of the way yeah. in the back or and you're having curb parking right. or you have curb right. parking sure right. now some other codes from across the country there's examples from uh, Louisville Kentucky uh, North Augusta South Carolina Missoula Montana and these are just a few of the many that I, we were comparing here, but as we were looking at that 50% number and assessing its rationality. Is it like this in Arbor Walk? No. I have you not been here my Arbor Walk, okay. so I don't. Well, I go through it twice, and to be honest with you, I don't remember my first one. I don't remember either. I've been here. Oh, but for in Kentucky, at Louisville, Kentucky, um, the garage doors shall not comprise more than 50% of the total lane multi-families building front facade or every two single bay garage door or every double adjacent or double garage door shall either be offset by at least four feet from the plane of an adjacent garage door. That would work. Yeah. That's going to achieve what you want to go because then you've got the staggering so it's not so so it's institutional. Not, you know? yeah. I think that's what we're trying to avoid, that institutional look. Right. You know? well, and so instead of having every building four foot, which we talked about before, now we're we're just staggering just a garage. Where we're, there was a picture of the garage being staggered and it actually looked here. See in this picture how it's staggered? Uh -huh. That looks yeah. nice. Yeah. That this little picture is kind of what we're talking about. And that way you're it, that's two foot there, but but uh, I understand exactly I, I don't that would see be a problem. looking like that. And then that way Well the pictures that they provided I mean What's wrong with that? Well, that's a TND. I mean, when you're talking about having the having it a home, where the garage isn't the first thing. Well, it's in a TND neighborhood. You're going to have an alley and then in the back. But if you're not doing a TND neighborhood, then, you're still going to have garages. Of these, of these that she has, there's only two projects that would fit fit in uh, the Kansas City area. I'd say, well, in, in the suburbs. And that would be these two. Uh, these here are all city style. Can you, Jim, can you I'm not marketability wise that the paint garage door? Oh, as Sheila mentioned the institutional look, even just painting them to match the house takes so it's much soft, away mm -hmm. that you know, away from all those white doors. Absolutely, absolutely. But I don't know if you can, if you oh. can make them. Well, you can I don't know that's just I don't know if you can require him to do that, but I, I think I think it would be worth a try to put it in there. Well, in design standards, we can do that. We can we can recommend that garages, 
you know, compliment 